hello guys um, welcome back to my channel I just wanted to stop by and share this um, vintage um, uh, nature themed journal that I just finished I'm trying to like I said uh, I think I said on my earlier earlier video that I'm trying to uh, finish up all the projects that I have just sitting there I need to finish them up so I can start new so this is one that was just sitting there so I'm hoping you guys like it. Let me know what you think. Uh, I should have measured it, huh? It is... Oops, this way. It is about... About five and a quarter. To... Almost eight and a quarter. It's only a one signature, that la uh, ladder, <laughs> ruler per way, and um, this is it. This is the back, and it's um, decoupaged, and then I just went ahead and added this, um, I think this one was a table runner, if I'm not mistaken, so I just wrapped it around. I like the flowers, and then it's just... Um, closed by a uh, seam binding it's a little chunky so let's go in let me know what you guys think I'll make sure I stay in frame so this is the first page I didn't really add any pockets here because it was already a little a little chunky but these are the last pages that I had left this was my last book that I had um, from uh, oh my goodness the Bohemian Gypsy she had gifted me these um, she did that eco dyeing that I've never done but I love what she did so this is a page as you can see it's really pretty she got nice effects so yeah this is the last book that um, are the last pages that I have so let's go in this paper um, I should have looked you know what I'm just gonna keep going because I I don't remember right now off the top of my head I'm trying to say it's from Artie Mays but I'll just look it up and then I'll put it down in the description when I'm done so here is the first page I have one of my book page pockets and I just did a bunch of lit, lay, la, layering at the bottom. Then on the first pocket, we just have these pieces. And then on the middle pocket, we have these. Sorry, hope I don't get you guys dizzy. There, I think that's better. And then a tag, and these came from Artsology. So that just pops back there. On this side, I just have a paper clip holding these two pieces of ephemera, and this is a long one. So I had to fold it in half, but I figured you can do some awesome journaling on the back. And then this one I think came from Pinterest. And it has various papers. This one, for example, I guess I should take out the paper clip. This one flips out, so I try to leave pages so you can journal. Because I know I tend to stuff mine. I've had people tell me that I don't leave any space. <laughs> so I'm trying to work at that. So I did leave some pages, so it's not as chunky. Here's one of those pockets. Um, that I made I showed um, when I was doing the um, crap with me journaling cards so I went ahead and de decorated it and this one here <clears throat> then one of these tags and this is from Artology and just a bunch of scraps as you can see did a little bit of stamping throughout and then I have these two just a little bit of lace so just a little bit of everything I thought these were cool so I just popped it here with a paper clip 
On here I have a little fold and I just went ahead and added this large ticket that I had. I'm not sure where it came from. So I distressed it and added some um, some cheesecloth and then that little number ticket. And then this came from a kit from um, Journal Centric on Etsy. And then these are printouts that I've had forever from Tsunami Rose. I printed them out um, actually, <coughs> excuse me, to all of you, uh, I have allergies. <laughs> I know in my last video, somebody got upset and said they were annoyed and I was rude. Um, I don't mean to be rude. Um, I have allergy problems, but I don't have anything um, crazy. Um, I don't mean to be rude. I just wanted to share. I'm not sure how I was rude, but I guess, you know, going like that, sniffling, I guess. I apologize in advance. That's not my my intention, I guess. I'm just sharing. That's all I want to do. Come in and share what I've done with all of you guys. So I apologize for those of you that got annoyed. Um, like I said, these came from Tsunami Rose. I printed them on uh, Staples a um, long time ago. So they're printed in a different paper and they are uh, like nicer <laughs> because they use better quality paper. So just thought I'd share that. So I did add some throughout the book and I just left them like that so you can use them, um, tear and um, use them as, um, you know, a collage or maybe in another journal, whatever you wish. Here, this is another piece of ephemera and it's kind of large so I just folded it in half. You can journal there. Here are some awesome uh, pages that I received from... Oh my gosh. They were, I got them through Happy Mail. Oh my goodness. Okay, it'll come to me. And this is an envelope that I made. And I just did a bunch of collaging throughout. I don't think I put anything in there. No, I did not. But I love the way it turned out. Really cute. So, yeah, these pages were gifted to me on a Happy Mail. And I'm trying to think of her name. It'll come to me. It will come to me. Here's another image also from Tsunami Rose that I printed ages ago. So I just popped it back there. Here's another little side pocket that I went ahead and added a um, little butterfly, some lace there, and just a little bit of collaging. And that is a, um, what do you call it? Oh my goodness. Also from Tsunami Rose. This one I think came from the old design shop. Ledger paper, there you go. I'm a little slow, but I get there. <laughs> So see, you have a lot of space for journaling. You have some of this awesome paper that was also gifted to me. Um, I know it has a name, but I don't know it. So let's keep going. <laughs> Here's another one of that eco dyed paper from Ginger, the Bohemian Gypsy. Really awesome paper. I should have scanned it for me. No, she probably would have killed me. <sighs> So then here we have another book page pocket again just did a little bit of layering this was a snippet that I just cut a piece off and added it and so then here we have these pieces and then on the back we have these two this one I think I got from Pinterest and this is from the old design shop And then on this side, it's another tuck. Um, it's just sewn on the bottom and up. I didn't add anything to it. And I just added one of my tags that I did on the um, tutorial or the craft with me. So I didn't want to push it in there or put it in there because of the buttons. It would be really bulky. So I just left it out and I thought that looked cute. So then on this side, I just added this piece of ephemera to stay there with the with the uh, paper clip 
here I just glued down a butterfly and I went to get some butterflies from um, um, Tracy Fox uh, I love journals I think it's her Etsy shop so yeah I got her birds her butterflies some of her tickets and there's still more I need to go for more <laughs> anyways uh, here I just added some lace but this is some nice um, thin paper um, I'm not sure what kind of paper it is here I just have some pieces of ephemera then here I just have this um, this um, what do you call it Let's sit down this ruffle trim here that was gifted to me again more space for journaling and then there's another beautiful page I have to try to do that but I have to go somewhere where there are different kinds of flowers you know and colors because that's what it's all about and I don't have any around here there's some but there's not a like a variety so I want to try because it looks cool it looks fun there's a journaling card I made. Here's another tuck, and it's just holding um, one of these little file folders, and these are from Artsology, and this is from Journal Centric. So they just pop right there. And then I also have some of this paper. Uh, what is it? I want to say tissue paper it was gifted to me so I'm going to use that as, as an excuse that I don't know <laughs> I got these also um, gifted to me I went ahead and just um, did a little bit of, of um, collaging of uh, different pieces of scraps added some eyelash trim and then that butterfly am I in frame yes I am and then this is I think from a kit from uh, tsunami rose if I'm not mistaken I just added this paper to the back because it's lined so it'll be easier to journal here I just have one another one of my little floating pockets so yeah like I said this journal is made to journal see all these things come off well not all <laughs> most of them come off so you have the space to journal and you know you could just glue this down glue here here and then use it as a tuck or you could just leave it as a floating pocket and I I just added some um, journaling cards if I could get it back in there and then whoops and then this one so yeah you could um, you can glue them down you can remove them you know uh, for those of you that like to journal I'm getting into journaling now so now I'm starting to like to journal so I'm I'm trying to do that where you know it looks cute but at the same time if you want to write you can take some stuff off here I just added this piece and it has some fairies hopefully you could see that actually that was done for another project I never used it so I popped it there then it's holding one of these um, again pieces of ephemera from Tsunami Rose so that pops there and then on this side I just went ahead and added this piece here again I read it I read it I added some ruffles and this is a music sheet and I just added these pieces of ephemera and then this one here from Tsunami Rose so yeah all of these uh, I printed them out very large so they're good for pages or covers but you know it was from the beginning when I was barely starting so yeah I should have uh, shrunk them down but I did it so but they're still good but I'm like okay I need to use those up so I figured I'm gonna pop them in here and I still have a bunch more <laughs> now this is one of those wallet inserts So as you could see, it has some lace on the bottom and just all kinds of bits and pieces. You know, a little stamp from um, AliExpress. So yeah, this is from a, a kit I purchased. And then on the inside, just have this little 
little postcard I shrunk. And then this one here. So yeah, these are so much fun to make. I love the papers I used. I can't remember where they're from, but if they're linen, something linen. And then on the bottom, I added this piece of ephemera. And as you can see, there's another eco dyed page. Very pretty. I'm going to do it one day. You watch, guys. I'm probably going to be really excited, but I'm going to do it. Because I love, love, love the look. On this side, I added this piece of ephemera just to pop it in here. Again, here's some more pages that were gifted to me. I think it's like a calendar because I think they have the month. Yeah, see? Um, oh my god, what is her name? I'm such a mess. Okay, so yeah, those were gifted to me. This is from um, Archology. Another another little file folder. I just wrapped it around the page. I think in my original um, design team project that I created, I didn't use them. Not because I didn't want to, but because they were placed in a place where I can see them till after it was all over. I was like, oh, okay. Let's just keep going. <laughs> Copied that. Oh, no, no. This is another page from that... Um, that eco dyed paper. I love the colors. Here is one of my little paper clips. I think I did a tutorial ages ago. And I use a, a different shops of these little, um, I think they're like cigarette. Um, what does it say? I think they're cigarette um, cards, if I'm not mistaken. And I just layered all kinds. I used a piece of a book page of course as a base and just layered music sheets some of this brown uh, shipping paper some lace and they're just so cute and easy to go but yeah I did a tutorial for paper clips or just leave them as is and then you just you know place them anywhere I had to go do some more of those because I don't have any the ones I had made extra they're all gone so yeah, I've been uh, checking out a few of my old videos, and this is one that I'm like, okay, I have not done any of those, and I, I think they're so cute and easy, so yeah, probably do those while I'm watching TV with hubby. And then on this side, I have a little um, music sheet pocket again, or, or tuck I should say, I just added this ruffle that was gifted to me. And it's holding these two. This is from, I think, uh, Tsunami Rose. And I think this one might have come from um, Pinterest. And then on this side, I went ahead and added this lace, which I ended up having, you know, two pages with a flap. Not intended. <laughs> this is from Tsunami Rose. Again, another one of those. Look at the colors. It comes out really vibrant. But yeah, this is Staples. This is not from my printer and the paper. I don't recall the paper that I selected to print it, to print it, print the images that, yeah, I need to, I need to, um, either print some more, but shrink them. This is a large piece of ephemera. I'm not going to take it off. So it's a little bit taller than the book, but I popped it in there. And again, space for journaling, space for journaling. Again, one of these small little sheets. Some of this, um, I'm trying to say deli paper maybe? Parchment? I don't think it's parchment. I think it's maybe deli paper. Here's another side pocket. This is another piece of uh, a snippet I made. And it's holding these two pieces, these three pieces of ephemera. This is from um, Journal Centric. I don't know and then this one is from um, Tsunami Rose again this will make an awesome cover on a, on a journal so that just pops there here I just did a little 
I grabbed this little piece, added some lace and a number ticket. I'm not sure where I got these numbers from. So I just did a little tuck. And um, these were gifted to me from my friend, Debbie Ham. So, okay, somebody's putting music outside. So I just did a little bit of distressing on the side. But I, I need to copy dye them, even though like this one says it's from 1964. Some of them are still too white for me, so maybe I should just uh, copy dye them and see how they come out. Another awesome page. Look at that. Love the colors. Here is a little tag I made. And it's made out of a manila, manila uh, file, fold, blah, file folder. <laughs> I think I'm tired already, guys. I've been I've been in here working for I don't know how long. I found these in um, I guess like a grab bag at a thrift store, and these are you know calendars. So I thought I would use them to you know pop them, a little journal stuffers, journal pocket stuffers. There you go. So I pop one in there. Here I have another one of those um, little um, paper clip thingies that I made. Then this is from Tsunami Rose. So that goes there. Here, I don't know what kind of paper this is, but I just added this cute little image there. And then on this side, I added one of these little... Um, what are they called? They're claim checks. I just purchased some, so I, I've been playing with them, and I pop one in there, and I left it open so I could just use it as a tuck, and these are the little bits and pieces that are there. Yeah. I'll show you later on the things that I've been uh, creating with those numbers. Here I have another journaling card that I made. Just with scraps, but I'm not sure where that came from. And then in here, another one of these file folders. A journaling card. Or a tag, I'm sorry. And then here's another one of those, uh, I guess, library index cards. <clears throat> 1963. I'm afraid not to clear my throat. People are going to get mad. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, that's cute. And I just popped that one there. Again, awesome space for journaling. Here's another tag that I ended up using it as a tuck. And then I have... Sorry if you can hear my husband. He's watching the game. Which one? I don't know. But he's watching the game and he's already screaming. So it must be good. I'm assuming. Look at this page, guys. Isn't that pretty? Like, wow. Maybe I should ask her how she did hers. Because look at that. You could really see the... Um, the ferns, the leaves. I mean, just like... You know, you could see every little detail. Yeah, I gotta see how she, what technique she used. Here's some more of this marble looking um, paper. Some more of this ledger paper. Here we have a tuck. Just add a little button there. And here is another awesome image from Tsunami Rose. Isn't that pretty? It makes me wanna sit there and try to draw it and a little postcard. I'm just going to pop that there and that there. Here is just a little journaling card. I mean, sorry, tag. And these are from Artsology. On this side, I have another one of those floating pockets. And on the back, I just put another little file folder. This one has little tag and another tag here's another one pop that there okay this one is is uh one of my favorite pages <laughs> because i used some 
embroidered, I guess, linen fabrics. And I made a flip. And then I added a piece here, some lace, some of this ruffle. I don't know what, what to call this, this um, page, but I had fun making it. Just little collage. collage. This, I went ahead and backed it to um, a piece of file folder, and then I covered the back. So you can put a cute little image of someone there and then just close it but look how pretty really pretty so I had to put it there and like leave it alone and so it's holding here these two pieces of a fibra so yeah and then like I said you have space for journaling you could add more pages there and it closes and the side here I put one of these um, recipe um, cards And then this is from Tsunami Rose. Again, another one. It's a very vib vibrant color. So yeah, I like that. I like the um, the embroidery. I thought that was kind of cool. And those were gifted to me by Miss Patty. And then here we have another cute little pocket holding a... Um, tag from Art Artsology. I'm not sure where this one came from. And then we have a little uh, Western Union um, ah, Western Union. <laughs> oh, Lord. It always happens. It never fails. Here again, I just did another tuck. Uh oh. Sometimes did it mess up? No, that's part of the image. Um, I don't. I can't wait. But this is just a little tag, some scraps, some uh, cheesecloth. So those are so cute and easy, you know, to make. And then just these pieces of ephemera. I was thinking of gluing this down because I think that's what you're supposed to do. But I don't know. I just left it as is. The person that owns it can decide. And then this is the back. Again, look at this page, guys. Look, I don't know. I just, I love dark uh, browns, greens, yellows, but like dark. This, I love it. It's just, it's beautiful. So yeah, I need to find me some plants like that and try to play really pretty because yeah, this is the last paper and I don't have any more to play with. So I need to try and figure, figure me something out. But this is it, guys. Like I said, um, I didn't count the amount of pages in the signature. But I once I list it on Etsy, uh, all that information should be listed. So if anybody's interested, please let me know. Leave me a message or you can purchase it on um, Etsy. It will be listed on Etsy as soon as I get a chance. So I'm probably going to get me a bite to eat because I'm hungry. You know me. If you guys know me, I'm hungry. Patty, I hear you. She she says, I know. Because she knows I, I, I'm a fatty when it comes to eating. And I could hear her already yelling from the background over there. Anyways, you guys take care. Michelle, if you're watching, so glad to have you back. So glad that you're feeling better. So glad that God blessed you and you're back home. For everybody else, take care, God bless, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.